Hi everyone, it's Nat here. Today I'd just like to show you the process that I use to alter these two playing cards. First there's the Cat Nine Lives one. And secondly there's this one. So the first thing to do is grab your cards and a fine sanding block um, that I got from the local hardware. This one's sort of got sponge material in the middle. And you give your cards a light sand. And that just helps any glue and um, paint adhere to it. Also makes it look a bit older. Now these cards aren't the usual pretty things that you see done and they're very very basic but as I'm only beginning um, I like to keep things simple. Alright so that's done I'll just move this piece out of the way. Now this is just baking paper or grease proof paper I always put that down because you can leave things to dry on it and they won't stick as much. Okay, so next, um, I think we'll start with our Nine Lives cat card there. So I've cut out this picture. Now both of these just came from a book, an old second-hand cat book. So firstly, you want to ink around the edges. So I've got my black soot distress ink here. And by doing this, it highlights the cat nicely and it also gets rid of the little white edges that you're left with after cutting. Now for the fussy cutting, I just used a Fiskars craft knife and my cutting mat. I find it hard to do with scissors because I'm a lefty. I'm left-handed and um, yeah, none of the scissors seem to work very well for me um, when I'm doing fine things. So, okay, that's the cat done. Next, the background here is just a 6x6 six six piece of pad paper, like scrapbooking paper, that has this like um, flourish sort of pattern on it. So we ink that as well, because I don't want it looking all pretty, I sort of want it a bit grungy. So I'm just going around the edges here. Now to save time, I've already ripped it to fit where I want it. Now on this one, I showed both the nines on the card. On this one, I'm just going to show the one nine. So basically, you just like tear it until it fits where you want it. So yeah, that will work all right. Okay, so we'll stick that down. Now I'm going to use my fabric glue because I feel that that works well on surfaces that are a bit glossy. Hopefully it will come out. Get it right to the edges. Bit in the middle. You've got a bit of time to reposition here, which I'll need to do down the bottom there. All right, I like that. Next, you place your cat. Now we're gonna. Because it's got a bit of a straight bottom, I might put him like sitting down the bottom like that. Now I like to um, just blacken around or distress ink a bit around the back. You can see where I've done it around this cat. Just makes it a bit less pretty as well. Now there might be enough ink on here to get a bit. Probably going to be too black now. That's what I did to the last one. That's all right. Get some 
under there. Okay, and stick him on with your fabric glue. down the bottom yeah that's better and then this word lives I just used my Dymo label printer to print this out saved me printing it on the printer and using a whole piece of paper and I just cut it down, make it a bit smaller. And then I ink around that as well. It's a bit fiddly so little always have fumble fingers all right that should do and then I peel the back off of this if I can find where to peel it it's one side Don't know if you can hear that, that's the neighbour's dog barking. Good timing. Alright, got, finally got that other bit. You figure out where you want to put it. Not sure exactly, maybe that way. That one. And I'll just ink that a little bit more, I think. All right, so that's the basis of that card and then you want to get a bit more black ink and just go around the edges of the card because that highlights it really well and highlights the number nicely. Grunge it up a bit. So that's the cat card. Never looks as good as that one. I just love the black cat in that one. And I tend to over ink every time I put the dauber on first. I've also done that one. So I'm building, building up a set of these. Okay, so next we want to try and do one like this. And we use our 10 of hearts for that. Now, the background of this one is actual uh, tissue paper that I was gifted. Um, with this one, I decided I'd use some yellow tissue paper. So basically, I've just ripped that out too, out of these big bits, so that they'll fit on. And I want to cover up one of the tens here. So I'm pretty sure. Hang on, which way we were going to put this one? Oh, that's right I want I was actually going to cover up the tens because it's going to show through the tissue paper here and I like that effect so we'll be putting that on like that and then again the backing is just scrapbook paper from a six by six pad which will go down like that and then on this one I'm going to put two ladies on there so so first before I forget we'll ink the ladies She's missing a bit of her hair there, so I'll ink it and it might look like hair. And 
again the ink sort of grunges it up but it also takes away the white edges from cutting and hides my horrible cutting this old paper was difficult to cut neatly So I hope everyone's having a good day today. I've been busy doing the usual household chores, so I thought I'd stop and have a break and do this. Much more fun. Try and get in all these little crevices. Right, and we'll also ink around the scrapbook paper. I'm actually studying at the moment and I should be finished in eight weeks and then I'll be able to do a lot more crafting which is going to be great fun. I'm at the end of a four year degree and yes, I'm definitely over it now, so I can't wait to finish. Okay, so I find it easier. I'll just line this up where I want it. Now, I find it easier to stick uh, the scrapbook paper onto the tissue paper first and I'll do that with some glue stick. So I'll just put the glue stick onto my scrapbook paper. Make sure I get the edges. There we go. Now we wanted that this way. Now, I might use blue stick around the edges just to adhere the tissue paper because I don't want the wet glue to show through the tissue paper. And that'll dry clear so it won't matter too much. Oops. And then I'll put some wet glue in the middle. position this where we want it. There we go, that's looking alright. A few creases don't, don't matter. Press this down. Alright, then figure out where we want our ladies. Thinking something like this or this. I think I like it better with them that way actually. So put some glue on her. her elbow hanging off the edge a bit there. there she can stay there I think I just pulled some tissue paper off with my gluey finger but that's all right and I'll position her there where I too Tear, tore the paper off so you don't notice as much. That's a good thing about this. If you make a mistake, you just stick something over it. 
Okay, and now with the bits that are sticking out the side, I'll just chop them off. Go around the corner there. And that's that one. Now your edge around the edges, ink around the edges, I should say. I'm doing well today. Rough it up a bit. Where it's white, so it's not too white. And where her arm is there, it's a bit white, so I'll put a little bit of ink in there. A bit more up here. There we go, that's that one finished making a set now of these as well so there's the other one I've done so I, I quite like those they're sort of retro 70s 60s 70s so that's those ones and there's the cat ones so very simple anyone can do it obviously if I can do it anyone can have a great day guys see you later